Hey YouTube, Nick Too Sick here back with another fishing video. Uh, headed back to the truck after another day of fishing. It's hot. Thank you everybody for tuning in. It's going to be the California Delta Fishing Report for June and July 2019. Um, it's the middle of the summer. It's hot. The dog days of frog fishing. That's what I'm doing. Got my frog rod in my hand right now. Um, you know, that's pretty much what I do. Um, just throwing the frog in the slop. Um, when I'm not doing that, I'm, I'm doing punching. So between those two techniques, um, you know, that's, that's the majority of what I'm doing right now. My day will consist of just starting off... Um, throwing the frog and uh, that's pretty much only been working in the morning and uh, really well like 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. a real late bite I've been noticing that trend lately um, you know uh, the bite I'll go out at like 3 o'clock and uh, I'll fish for like 3 hours straight not a single bite and then all of a sudden it'll just turn on. So uh, the fish are really temperamental right now. Um, they're, they're, it seems like they're just hunkered down. Um, a lot like people just hanging out in the air conditioning, doing their thing. They're not really um, chasing and moving baits. Not, not from what I'm experiencing. Um, had, the, uh, had the toxic event. This week uh, went out that day. I know that was a big bait day. I tried throwing an S waiver, Gentrel, uh, nothing. I know um, big fish that day went just over five pounds, and uh, yeah, they were just throwing. So I know that the bite is tough right now. I've been talking to a fellow fisherman. I know that. Um, the windows where they are biting, though, have been really, really good. So I will say that um, I'm throwing a frog and um, I'm, I'm punching. So it's basically um, not a very sexy report this summer. But I, I'm not trying too much like I have been in the past where I um, have really just been throwing the junk box at them. So... Um, in addition to punching, um, I'm throwing a shaky head worm. This is basically been my, my lifeline this summer. Um, you know, some days the punching and, and the frogging just isn't working and, um, I just throw a shaky head and get bit. I'll throw it around docks, pillars, man-made structures, um, target marinas and you know the worm fish are, are eaten so I can tell you that much Sanko bite is a Sanko bite you can always rely on that um, when the going gets tough I've caught a few nice jig fish this month uh, I've just been throwing the bass tycoon tackle jigs this one here um, you know black red and green with just a nice little um, tail. I've been going 3 8 ounce. I've been fishing pretty shallow. Normally I throw a half ounce jig, but I have been throwing um, 3 8 ounce this summer. Um, getting bit pretty much on the fall. If I'm not getting bit on the fall, I'm not I'm not getting bit pretty much. Um, it's more of like a reaction bite than um, a slow dragging jig bite. So I'll, I'll just kind of flip it out there, let it sink pop it a couple times and I, I'm, I'm doing a real short retrieve because I'm just not getting bit on the back ends of those bites. Um, as far as punching, I, I throw a D-bomb. This is my punching bait. Uh, this is by Missile Baits. Um, I really like this bait. It's very, very greasy and um, it's very simple. It doesn't get hung up trying to punch through the... Um, emerged vegetation like hyacinth and pennywort so i'm keeping it real simple throwing a frog punching 
Uh, when things aren't going my way, I'm like I said, I'm throwing a worm. Um, I am catching some jig fish in certain areas that I just know the fish like jigs. And um, that's basically all there is to it. I, ha um, I haven't been fishing as much, you guys. Um, summer, you know, I, I, I do have a business beyond fishing. I'm an entrepreneur in life, so uh, I have been busy lately. You know, not, not as much chasing bass as I have been um, chasing rodents because I'm in the pest control business. So um, I'm not going to lie to you, I haven't been fishing um, as much as I have been the past um, you know, two years, I would say, um, over the last two or three months, it's, it's, it's been a kind of a low for me, um, but I'm out now, um, I have been active, um, this week, definitely, uh, this is my third day in a row going out, and, um, it's picking up, so, um, in short, if you guys want to get bit, go out before dark, you know, dinner time, 7 to 9 is like really the only time I can ensure that I'm going to catch a fish. Uh, it feels like a gamble the rest of the day, especially midday. Uh, really, just midday, the only thing I could get them to bite is a weightless worm. Um, you know, I got so desperate last week, I threw on like a, a weightless zoom trick worm and that's just all they would eat, so... Uh, maybe try that if you're having trouble. Uh, but though, yeah, frog bites on, you guys. That's going to be it for the California Delta Fishing Report for um, June, July. Weather's been hot. Uh, you know, lots of people out on the water. Uh, a lot of people don't like the boat traffic. I do. I'll get in there. The fish, the muddy waters from the boat traffic fish can't see as well you guys some people don't believe me but you really can catch big ones in those really chaotic areas with the jet skiers with the jet skis around a lot of people you guys I mean they're they're used to it they you know these fish have are on their third fifth year in the delta they come in to the shallows into the marinas they know what to expect and they're just used to it so a lot of times I get a lot of people who I surprise by um, you know fishing in these real chaotic areas with skiers and stuff like that um, you can fool the big fish that way so hopefully some of this information helps and um, I'll see you guys next month